Okay. Let me see if it's still going to work because it shows that it's recording now. Did you see me scratching my head? Okay. But now I'm just standing. Yeah, it shows that it's finally recording. I just want to make sure that it's recording and uh, the picture is still up. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> okay. I'll come back. Then, then it'll be on this whole time. I'll just edit it that way. Because that way we're not struggling with the 430 to, to make it work. I mean, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to show it on. I want to have that problem with it. But it's going to be until I get on with it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you just said. Uh,
How y'all doing? Chef Mick, let me get my jacket. Hold on, man. Wait right there. All right. Here we go. This is Cooking for the Boys Live. I am Chef Mick. Today is Pot Pie Day. I'm very excited about it. Got to get our jackets on, guys. If you don't have a jacket, get your apron on. We don't want to be messy. Let's preheat our oven. 375. Boom. It's working already. Now, Today, we're going to do the pot pie, not just the inside. The inside is actually the easy part. We're going to do the outside. We're going to show you a really quick, flaky uh, crust, uh, you know, pie crust for it. What am I missing? My hat. All right, here we go. Here we go. There we are. Guys, again, I'm Chef Mick. This is Cooking for the Boys Live, and I'm going to turn this camera so you can see my workstation, and we are going to get started, because this is a not going to be a long day. It's going to be a fun day. Here we go. Workstation. Actually, you guys are going to be able to see my mixer. There's my mixer. All right. Okay. We need water. We need ice water, so let me do that while, while you guys are getting set up there. Ba, ba, da, ba, da. I was listening to some Neil Diamond a little while ago. It was a Longfellow Serenade. <clears throat> Longfellow Serenade. It was a, it's an excellent song. You know, I, I, I myself enjoy Neil Diamond. A lot of people don't, but I do. All right, here we go. Mixer. What are we going to do, guys? Well, let's make the crust first. I have my, I have my oven preheating, and I've already got some made, so it's going to cook while I teach you guys, and then you're going to get to see it and not have to wait for it to get made after we make it all. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right, so what do I need? Two and a half cups of flour. Okay, here's my cup right here. All right, here's my flour. Now, you can use a, if you have a big um, uh, 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 food processor, it might be easier for you than a mixer because some of this stuff just doesn't cooperate with the mixer. You know, the butter doesn't really break up the same way. So if you want to do that, or if you want to use a pastry knife for the butter and not use a mixer at all, that's fine. That's two. So there's nothing wrong with that. Two and a half. Look at that right there. Flour. We're going to save the flour because we're going to use it when we roll out the dough. So it's going to go over here, and we're going to use it in a little bit. We need some salt. Now we're using this stuff for salt right here. Okay. It wants a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon. There's my salt crock. You guys see my salt crock? See? Teaspoon of salt. Now, it also wants, believe it or not, it wants two tablespoons of sugar. Okay? Now, <clears throat> this is great for any pie, but, but if you don't want to make your savory pie crust so sweet, then cut down the sugar, please. Uh, that's up to you. 
I, I thought it came out really nice with the sugar in it, so I'm not going to worry about it. There's the sugar, two tablespoons. Wonderful. And now we come to the butter and the shortening, okay? Well, let me put this up here and get this moving a little bit. I want to get all those ingredients together while I get the butter and the shortening together. Okay, the butter, it says to make sure it's cold. I'm not using stick of butter. I use Smart Balance Buttery Spread. Better for my heart, although I am using Crisco, which is not good for my heart. So I'm hoping to balance it out right there. All right. How much? Oh, it wants a uh, half a cup of uh, vegetable shortening. Half a cup of vegetable shortening. Now, so here's my half cup. You saw it, it had flour in it, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. Normally, you do like this. Okay, you squeeze it here, you push it down, you make sure it's nice and full. Now you have a half a cup. Cut it out of here, throw it into there. Da, 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 da. Ah, that long fellow serenade is stuck in my head. This is going to be tough. I do have a couple of people talking in my ear. I have uh, <clears throat> my son, Duran Lucio in uh, Harlingen, and my son, Dario. The one that cooks in Corpus. Uh, he is in Corpus and they're talking in my ear, so who knows? Maybe they'll sing me something different so that Longfellow's serenade can get out of my head. All right. Now we also need butter. Now, it wants, you know, a stick and a half, three quarter cup, however you want to do it. I happen to have a three quarter cup here. Do I? No, I have a one quarter cup. I have a one quarter cup that I can do three times, right? And it's going to be basically the same process, guys. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. That's going to be the same process. You know, if you can get enough butter in here. This is kind of, it's kind of cold. Okay. We're going to do this a couple of times. Try to get, we're going to guesstimate as much as we can to the three-quarter cup here. Ah, there you go that three times we should be pretty close it's not perfect but and again what you let me stop this and cut up my butter a little bit okay now there are easier ways to do this okay one of the easy ways to do this <laughs> is to buy your pie crust already made okay so if you don't want to go through what I'm doing right here and what I'm doing is wonderful believe it if you don't want to do this then buy already made pie crust. You get those in those, some of those cans that pop open. Or if you don't really want pie crust, go ahead and get uh, get some flaky biscuits. You can use flaky biscuits. You can use crescent rolls. But pie crust can come in this can type of can also. So don't be afraid to use that. Also. Depending on what you're making, you can also use this, filo dough, okay? All of these things are quick, easy substitutes for what I'm doing right now. But, frankly, there is no substitute for homemade. And what I'm doing is homemade. And it's going to be delicious. All right. So, now it says we're going to mix all these together until it turns into a, uh, you know, little bits, little pea-like looking stuff. Uh... You guys want to do a flying camera already? This early into the show? Should we do a flying camera this early? Yes, we should. Let me cut this up a little bit. Let me show you this. Let me show you this flying camera right away. Bum, bum, bum. You can see that it is pea-like right there. See all those little rounds? Okay, but you can also see way up here that there's a piece that I need to break up. All right, so let's get back over here. Okay. Let's cut that up. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Now... Now we add cold water. Now, I did not just get cold water from the tap. I put ice in it. We want ice cold water. Okay? And it wants you to add about seven or eight teaspoons. I'm sorry, tablespoons. Six to eight tablespoons, okay? We're going to add them one at a time because, well, we don't want to get too much water. What happens when we get too much water? We have to add more flour. We have to add more mixture. Okay? Two. You can see. 
three, four. All we're trying to do is throw enough water to make this crust all come together. But, and I know what you're saying. You're saying, boy, that just doesn't look like it's going to be enough. But believe me, it is. That's six right there. I'm going to go with seven right now. Lucky number seven. There we go. All right. Now, watch this. Because I told you, it's enough to make it come together. Hey, that's a Beatles song. Come. Oh, is it a Beatles song? I don't know. Anyway, here we go. I'm just trying to get Neil Diamond out of my head is all. All right. So, and then this is what we have. And then this is what we have. Look, see? I told you it was enough. It was enough to get it to come together. Now, so we have it come together like this. We're going to round it out a little bit like this. Let me put it here. I forgot to get my plastic wrap. Because what are we going to do with it, guys? We're going to wrap it in plastic. We're going to put it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. Okay, before I do that, my oven, is, my oven seems to be ready. These are the pies I made earlier. This is just a cupcake tin. This is actually a disposable one. Okay, so these are the pies. They're going to be the ones that are going to cook for 20 minutes at 375. They're the ones I'm going to show you at the end of the show. So I put them in, 325, now let's go up to 20 minutes. All right, and let's start. Okay, let me get my plastic wrap. Ah, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. It's my fault for not having plastic wrap available immediately. Okay, so we're going to take this. We're going to wrap it in plastic wrap. Put the plastic wrap down. Okay, we have it in plastic wrap. It goes into the refrigerator for 15 minutes. That simple. Now you can make it a day early because it can be in as long as two days and you're going to be fine. All right, so now let me clear this big old machine out of the way. Excuse me. So, like I said, I already showed you I've made some already. Okay, so you can tell that I've already made some of this. And, um, okay, now, if you make it, and then you don't refrigerate it right away, it's not going to have the time that it needs to firm up and actually hold up. It will fall apart while you're rolling it out, It'll, and it's probably going to do that to me again anyway. And it will not allow you... And not allow the, the fat to set into it, and not allow the butter to actually set into where it's supposed to be. So that's why we always refrigerate it or freeze it right afterwards, just so that it can firm up. We we added heat to the butter and to the oil, which made it melt, and now we have to firm it back up so that it actually holds together. So like I said, we're not done. I hope that answers the, the question that I was asked from uh, Melody. Hello, Melody. Hello, Melody. Hello, Melody. All right. So, now, we're going to roll this out. Okay? It's very simple. We'll put some flour on our, on our work surface here. We're going to roll it out. But, what are we going to roll it out to? I mean, what are we going to cook this thing in? So, how do I know how big to roll it? Well, those are excellent questions. The entire thing I just made is made for a nine inch pie pan, okay? I'm not gonna make this size of a pot pie. Well, not for two of us. If you guys wanted to, except that when you cut into it, it's gonna be all messy, and you wanna keep it smaller where it doesn't get as messy and strung out, okay? So, you do need an oven safe, you do need an oven safe container. This is my favorite, of course. But even this is bigger than what I want to do. That's why I did those cupcake ones. So, what am I going to do with it? Well, my wife, and if you guys remember any of my Christmas episodes, I bought these things at Marshall's. These are oven safe. Okay. And this is going to be the one I make for my wife. It's a nice, cute one. She's going to get a chicken pot pie. So, I need to roll this out to fit this. And also, not just the bottom of it, the top of it. And also, this one. 
Okay, it's a little bigger, so guess who gets this one? This is mine. Mine's going to be beef. I think I have enough, but if nothing else, we'll do at least my wife's. I have the other, the other crust that I'll be able to make my own later anyway. But my wife's I'll be able to roll out right now. So let's do this. Push it down. Da, 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 da. Okay, those people in my ear, they don't mind asking me a question. They're not giving me another song to sing. And I keep going back to... Uh... And now this is where you have to be careful. You see, this, this one I made earlier, I really did not put as much liquid, maybe as much water as I should have. So it does fall apart. But if I had tried to do this, I need to put some flour on my... Uh... Where's my flour? I need to put some flour on my, on my pin. If I had tried to do my rolling pin, if I tried to do this without having firmed it up in the refrigerator, it would be even worse, guys. It would be so much worse. Oh, that's much better. Now, I don't really roll things very roundish. Okay, and what, you what you're gonna end up doing is, you're gonna end up deciding, okay, you know, part of this needs to go for that. And then we're going to save the other part for later, which I may round out some more. So what you do is you find what you're going to use. Okay. Let's say this. Okay. Now, you, I'm using the back end of a butter knife because I don't want to cut up my counter. But I just need to roll this out. I need to cut this out is all I got to do. Da, 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 da. And you want to give it some, some edging. You got to give it a little bit of extra room on the edges. So that when you push it in, you still have some on the outside. Come on. Come on, baby. Woohoo. Come on. Come on. You know you ah. All right. All right. Look at this. Okay. So now you can push this in like that. Now, if like for me on the uh, on this one, I'm gonna trim off the edges here. Trim off the edges, that's fine. If you're trying to serve it and you want to pull it out of here, then you really should oil the surface before. I am not going to pull it out of here. I'm going to serve it in this dish because this dish is beautiful. So I don't need to pull it out. Now look at that. Look at that. See? Ready to go. It's going to, I'm going to put, I'll put another topping of this over it, make it look really pretty. But what am I going to put inside of it? Okay, well, now that we have this and we have the crust ready to go, why don't we work on what goes inside? So we turn our attention to the stove over here. This is going to be the pan I use for my chicken. <clears throat> and let me turn this on. Remember, we'll turn it on high to get the oil hot. Let's drop some oil into it. Da, 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 ah. ah. diamond is catchy, though, you know. Longfellow Serenade. All right. So we got that going. We're going to get the oil nice and hot. Then we're going to turn it down a little bit. Because as you can see, it's already smoking underneath because I spilled some oil earlier. So, okay. We're going to get this nice and hot. We're going to turn it down. We're not trying to smoke ourselves out. Chicken. I got chicken breast and I cut it as, you know, I cut it nice and small. Why do you cut it small? Because it's got to fit in there. Putting a whole chicken breast in there doesn't make any sense. You cut up your chicken nice and small. You drop your chicken pieces in here. You don't need a lot of them. Drop them in there. Let the uh, heat take over. Let me wash my hands because I did touch chicken. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a recurring theme in this show. Me and my lousy scene. Uh, okay. Let's throw some salt on there. Remember my salt and my pepper. That's right. Throw some salt and pepper. There you go. Now the chicken is cooking a little bit. So let's talk about what you do now. If you if you buy, <coughs> excuse me, if you buy pot pies at the store and you break them open, you're gonna see. You know, especially a chicken pot pie, you're going to see uh, a lot of veggies inside. And you're going to see, you know, maybe a little cream in it. So if you wanted to go the easy route, and this is the very easy route, 
excuse me, uh, you would get where is it? I don't know. You would buy a can of veg off, mixed vegetables, veg off, whichever you want to call it, and you would get a can of like cream of chicken or cream of mushroom, and you would add it to this and you would warm it up and fill it up. I don't do anything the easy way. Therefore, therefore, I'm not going to open this can. I'm going to do this. <coughs> I'm going to buy them frozen. Same thing, guys, really. These are mixed vegetables. They're frozen. You can use the can or you can use the frozen. I use the frozen because then I can open it and close the bag again. If I open the can, then I have to find something to store it in, in the refrigerator. This is a lot easier in the freezer. That's the only reason I use the frozen over the can. So the frozen veggies go in here. Nice. Nice. There you go. If you feel like throwing some mushrooms in, that's not a problem. I, have, I bought some sliced mushrooms already. Okay, so let's throw in a couple of slices. Mushroom. And let's saute this thing. This shows you how high it is, so I'm turning it down. <clears throat> okay. Do you remember five minutes back when we made this? When we made it, we threw in salt, we threw in sugar, we threw in butter and flour and shortening, but we didn't throw in any seasoning. So do not expect your pie crust to have seasoning in it. That's what your food is for on the inside. Make sure you season your food on the inside. Salt and pepper, right? We've got to make sure about it. Now, we had salt and pepper on the chicken, but we didn't on the veggies. Here is the wonderful part about all of this. I'm going to do a regular cream one. I'm going to show you a couple of things. Okay, but let's talk about what else you can do with it, guys. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's turn this on. Which one's the back one? This one? Let's turn this on. Let's throw some oil on there. And let's do the beef at the same time. Anybody have a beef with that? <laughs> what a bad joke. Wow. At least I'm not singing anymore. Okay, <clears throat> here's the deal. Now is the time that you can make this pot pie your very own. I'm going to do this one standard. It's going to have a little cream in it. It's going to, you know, it's going to be a nice standard chicken pot pie. What else can you do? Well, you can use, let me see, where is it? Right here. You can do spicy stir fry. You can, you know, do a stir fry chicken and put it in there. You can actually do a... Uh, you can actually do it with shrimp and vegetables, you know, broccoli and, and cauliflower and do a, a creamy shrimp, primavera type of thing and put it in the pot pie. This part right here, whether you're using beef or chicken or shrimp or whatever, this is where you make this pot pie your own. All right, so now I could technically, I could technically Take this and put it in here. Okay? I could fill it up. But when it cooks, it's going to dry out on the inside. There's no liquid. There's nothing on the inside. It's going to dry out. When you cut into it, you're not going to have any oozing out of it that's going to look really pretty. So we need to put something in here. We need to make this creamy. And that's what, let me see, milk. Okay? That's what milk is for. Unfortunately, I didn't put any milk in here. So let me get it out of the refrigerator. More importantly, I'm going to use half and half. So let's take our, our thing. Let's just drop a little bit. We don't need a lot. Okay? Drop a little bit of half and half in there. And, and, now let's add a little bit of, where this is my teaspoon, I'm going to stir I'm going to add some flour into the milk, into the cream, okay? Just one of these in the cream. We're going to mix it together while it's cold. But you got to break down that flour and mix it in there really well, or else the flour will be little chunks inside your, your soup here. Okay? Oh, I forgot that I have this on. This is hot. I need to do something with that right now. Okay, so here we go. Add this in here. 
and cream it up a little bit. That's it. Simple as that. Simple as that. Turn this off. I think it needed just a touch more, a touch more liquid, and that's nothing wrong with that. There you go. Much better. Much better. Okay, you can see the other one's steaming because I forgot I had it on, which makes me... So I'm worried about my chicken, which I just made creamy. I'm going to let it sit here and soak up some of that liquid. And we're going to throw some beef. Now the beef, you can buy the stew cut, or you can buy the stir-fry cut if you think it's too big. Ah, I hate when I do that. If you think it's too big, I need to cut that out right there. Then uh, cut it down yourself. Okay? Put the beef in there and we're going to do the same thing with the beef we did with the chicken well not really we're going to cut the beef let me do this hold on Done. okay we're going to cut the beef we're going to season the beef all right let's put this on here again guys now, let's get back to the chicken while the beef is cooking. You see how creamy it is now? Okay, so what are we gonna do with it? We're gonna fill, can we see that? Yeah, we're gonna fill our pie, pot pie with it, right here. Now, if you're gonna make the same kind of pot pie, obviously you're gonna use more chicken than I do. But if you wanna make two different ones like I am, then you can use that, look at that. Look at that. Let me put this over here. Now, look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? Okay, so let's cut out. Let's cut out what I believe will be enough to go over the top of it. Where's my beef thing? Hold on. I'm going to show you something different with the beef, okay? So let's cut this out right now. All right. This is a little bit too big, but we'll cover the top with it like this. Okay? Now, see, I cut it out. <clears throat> I put it over the top. Okay? <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with the way this looks right now. Okay? There's nothing wrong with the way this looks. You can cut off any excess that you want. Like that and like that. If you wanted to go into these little things here, you can do that and get rid of it so that you have your handles free. Okay. The important thing to remember are two things, guys. First of all, let's turn this down. Put that over here. First of all, we want to do an egg wash. <clears throat> Just like you would on a regular pie, an egg wash. This has egg and uh, milk in it, and that's it. One egg, a little bit of milk, and we're going to wash it over. We're going to brush it over our... Can we see it there? No. Can we see it right here? Yes. Okay. We're going to brush it over. Very simple. Why are we brushing it over? So that we can get a nice brown uh, pie going here. There we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and drop a little bit of salt on top of the thing, just for decoration purposes. How pretty. The other thing to remember is it needs a little ventilation. The heat on the inside, when it's cooking and trying to cook our pie crust, it needs ventilation. So don't be afraid to poke some holes in it. You can see the center of it sort of fell apart right there because of the other stuff. but. There's a little bit of ventilation. If you want to do just a couple of slits from the knife, that's fine. This is a pot pie. Beautiful serving dish. Nice crust on the outside. We already know that the inside looks really good. I'm going to put it in here real quick. My other pies are almost ready, so you're going to be able to see that. I'm going to finish up the beef in a minute. I need to... Oops. One of these. Those can stay over there. I need to firm up this pie dough again. 
I'm going to firm it up in the refrigerator real quick. And I'm going to show you this, and then we're, we're done, guys. The beef, well, let me show you how I'm going to do with the beef, guys. Okay. While I'm waiting for the last pie to cook. Okay. Remember I said, this is your chance. This is your chance to make it yours. Okay? This is how I plan on making the beef pot pie mine. <clears throat> First of all, there's nothing wrong with throwing some veggies in there. Okay? We can use the same veggies. You can use the same mixed vegetables or, 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 or. You can go and get these. These are called stew vegetables. The great part about the frozen ones is you have so many options. <clears throat> there's a California blend. There's a stir fried blend. These are stew. These are mixed. The stew, stew vegetables are a little bit better, although the potatoes are too big for me. And I need to cut them up a little bit. I like the carrots and everything else that's in them. So I'm going to drop those in there. Okay? See? Too much potato. Carrots and celery is what I'm looking for. There you go. Okay? Now, of course, of course, we need these things to heat through. Let me put a little bit of water in them. There you go. Now, I need these vegetables to heat through before I put them in. The other thing I'm going to do with it, the other thing I'm going to do with it, and I can and I can actually get my mushrooms and throw some mushrooms in here. No worries. You hear the the beep? That means my other pies are ready. Okay, so I need cook time for another seven. <coughs> cook time for seventeen more minutes for the one I just threw in there. Start that. And I'm going to pull the other ones out right now. Okay, so I did that. The other thing I'm going to do with the beef to make it my own. So this right here, this right here makes it sort of beef stew. So it's a beef stew pot pie. Very simple. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to take a can of normally called Rotel or whatever. Anyway, diced tomatoes and chilies. And I'm going to add it to this. It's going to spice it up. It's going to change it. It's going to make it a little red. I like a lot of tomato in my stuff anyway. And it's going to make it, what guys? It's going to make it all mine. That's right. <clears throat> all right. I'm gonna, I'll finish it up after, after we're off the air. Because this is what the important part was. Right here. Right here, guys. Look at this. Look at this. These are the pot pies. These are the pies that I made. I put in there right after, right after we started the show. Okay, remember I said I wanted these pies, I need them to cool off a little bit, but I want to be able to pull these out. In order to pull these out of here, in order to pull them out of here, I sprayed this down. I sprayed them down with a little bit of vegetable spray. So hopefully, hopefully they pop out like I want them to. <clears throat> hopefully they do. Okay, let's, let's see if, if I can get it to pop out. Woohoohoo! Ah, oh, just, just like the doctor ordered. Look at that. This one seems a little bit more reluctant to pop out, but ah, uh, this is your daddy, baby. There you go. Look at that, guys. Look at this beautiful pot pie. You can look underneath. You can see the veggies under there and everything. Look at that beautiful pot pies. If you do them in, and this is still hot. <clears throat> but if you do them in, 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 in a cupcake thing, you get individual ones like this. Spray it down, and they pop right out, just like that. How about that? If you do them in the other things like I did in this other <clears throat> stoneware, then you serve it in that stoneware, guys. Serve it directly in the stoneware onto the table. It's beautiful stuff. Any color you want, you know, any kind of stoneware you want. Here's another one that, <clears throat> that we have that you can actually use. It's in a good size pot pie. The reason I'm not using it is because I hold my bacon grease. <clears throat> All right, guys. That is pot pie. Pot pie 101. I hope you guys learned something. I am Chef Mick. This is Cooking for the Boys. Uh, thank you to Dario in Corpus and Duran in Harlingen. Um, this is a Revolucion production. If... You know how to cook. You can marry for looks, guys. I'm Chef Mick, and I hope you enjoy your pot pies, because I know I will. All right. Peace and love, guys. Bye.
Okay, guys. Hey, was it?